Now, the good news is when Dre Greenlaw got that interception late in the game and ran with it for 12 seconds after he caught the ball, he at least got the clock under 40 where there was no way the Green Bay Packers could have gotten the ball back anyway. And how they didn't even take their two timeouts and force the multiple knee downs. They're, they're not getting the ball back. But Jaden Reed had a chance from behind near the end of that play coming in with the big, you know, we see that all the time where the guy has an opportunity from behind the ball carrier to swat it out, peanut punch it. And it didn't happen, but he would have been the go to goats. Oh, that, yeah, I, hey, that was incredible. That was. If that, that ball comes out yeah. and the Packers win that game, that's that's all we're talking about. Dre Greenlaw did the dumbest thing we've ever seen by not just keeping his butt on the ground. I yeah, yeah I hear you. It wasn't even the dumbest thing on there. I don't. Who was the dummy that got in the front of the Fox camera as he was returning it and you couldn't <laughs> see it? That guy was the dumbest guy in that play. I know that. But either way, uh, incredible play, right? I mean, Dre Greenlaw has been he's been banged up most of the year and he continues to fight and he's got a bionic arm and brace on and everything. He's He's a soldier. That's 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 that 49ers defense. Big plays and big moments. That was a game there on Saturday night, right? We talk about it every year. That one seed, are they going to be ready? Are they going to be playing tip-top, their best type of football? The 49ers were not. The Packers played better. The Packers probably outplayed them. You know, had many opportunities to win. If there was a game there to be had or an upset this weekend, that was the one. It was there for Green Bay. Whether they dropped, you know, two interceptions, one looked like for sure pick six, the other one might have been two. You have that, right? And then Jordan Love, who played phenomenal down the stretch, third and 11, shallow cross. If he just throws the ball in the money on the first interception, the guy might get the first down. It's going to be close. Throws it behind him, high ball tipped in the air, interception. Get the ball back, drive down, miss a field goal. Both of these mistakes led to 49ers points. You know, I don't think he's going to get the first down there. Either way, they're going to punt the ball, and the 49ers are going to be backed up. Instead, they get a short field field goal, I believe, here. And then, of course, the drive, or maybe I'm missing one drive. The Packers drive down and miss a field goal. So, you know, three out of their last four or five drives ended in disaster. Interception, missed field goal. They blew it at the end of the football game with a chance to upset the 49ers on the road. But the 49ers prevailed. And it'll be Niners-Lions this weekend. That second interception, though, you know, for a guy who has looked so much like Aaron Rodgers in the past couple of weeks, all of a sudden he looked like Brett Favre throwing the ball (laughs) across his body. I said that as soon as I saw it. It's like, oh, my God, that's a Brett Favre moment. People are putting on social media the Brett Favre throw from the 2009 NFC Championship game across his body that Tracy Porter picked off and prompted Paul Allen to yell, this is not Detroit, this is the Super Bowl. I guess Detroit probably wouldn't appreciate that then or now. But his point was, because I always give him a hard time about it, his point was it's not some basic regular season game. We're trying to get to the Super Bowl here. You can't do that stuff. Jordan Love did it. Here he is after the game talking about that interception that sealed the victory for the 49ers. You know, play broke down, was scrambling right. Um, Saw Christian over the middle and, uh, you know, tried forcing one into him. Thought I could make the play. Um, Didn't see the backside. So, you know, they made a great play. Yeah, I mean, I haven't looked at it yet. I haven't looked at any pictures. So, um, you know, looking back on it, yeah, throw it away. I, I don't know if I had an opportunity to be able to run, uh, maybe get out of bounds, but, um, you know, force it across the middle late, um, which is a mortal sin, and, uh, you know, it costs us. So, um, some I'll look at, but, you know, there's that's an area right there where I'll be able to look at, grow from, and uh, get better in the future. I appreciate the candor. You're right. From Jordan Love. He, he manned and, up, and, says it the right way and, there. Yeah. Now, now, he couldn't have run. Nick Bosa yeah, right. was close. Right in him. his face, right. And, and even if he hadn't seen Dre Greenlaw on the backside. Fred Warner's going to pick it. Fred Warner was on the front side. Yeah, right, right, there were right. two guys covering Christian yeah, Watson. Yeah. Fred Warner was catching that ball right. if Dre Greenlaw didn't. Right. Agreed. It was, uh, he, he said it. He broke the mortal sin. Right? I mean, again, we know we've seen Mahomes and Josh Allen and Aaron Rodgers do this a little bit. Those are special guys. And, you know, played a little bit more football before they started doing that kind of stuff in big moments. Uh, I mean, that was a really high degree difficult throw. Uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate that it, it leaves Green Bay fans, Jordan Love, the Packers, the whole organization with a little bit of a bitter taste in their mouth. The way they rallied, you know, the first year without Aaron Rodgers, 
went through a lull and a down point of the season, battled out of that. He played really good football. They're a young football team that's got a lot to look forward to, certainly. But, yeah, this is one, I, even today, they're still sitting there sick to their stomach going, I mean, crap, we let one slide by. We had the Niners on the ropes. They were wobbly, and we were winding up to throw the big punch to knock them out, and we kept just missing the target there, and the 49ers hung in there. You know, luckily, not playing their best football. And if they if they play like that again this week, they won't win the, the NFC Championship. It'll be the Lions going to the Super Bowl. That's got to make it hurt even worse than just getting your ass kicked. Yeah, right. So you could have won, and you blew it. You shot yourself in the foot. You were the better team that day. You can tell yourself we were the better team. We should have won. We could have won. And we failed to do what we could have done. And then Packers, Lions, NFC Championship. Are you kidding me? That's the same script the Packers followed in 2010. When they beat the one seed on Saturday night, and then they go face a division rival in their building. Yeah. 14 years ago, it was the Bears, and now it would have been the Lions. And and look, no, Aaron Rodgers wasn't the consensus best quarterback in football before that Super Bowl run. It was that run and the next season that had everybody say, hey, Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in the NFL. Right. So – they need to forget about it. They need to flush it. And they need to move on. Understanding Jordan Love is still pretty good. Although, right. I don't know that God has made a quarterback that could have gotten that ball to Christian Watson. No, no. That was One insane. Time I see that play. Like, it would have been the best throw we've ever seen. Agreed. That's you know, across right. your body. Right. Frozen rope. High he's enough. 35. He's trying to throw the ball three, about 30 yards. Niners. Yeah, it's, it's about yeah. 30 yards he's trying to throw the ball. I mean, no question. That was one where even if you saw Mahomes or Allen or do it, you'd go, that's even a little crazy for you guys. Like, are you sure? Right? Uh, yeah, that was I, – I, I was shocked to see him make that throw in that moment. I really was. The game plan, the toughness the Packers showed, they did everything the right way. You know, offensively – and we know that's a good pa a good defensive unit there with the 49ers, right? I mean, he made some throws. They stayed patient with the run game. It wasn't easy. They finally broke one. The defensive game plan by Joe Barry I thought was phenomenal, right? I mean, you go back, you watch the game. It was five-man front. We're going to stop the run. They played deep coverage, and they said, we're not going to let Shanahan dial up all these crazy plays we watched on film preparing this game where McCaffrey's wide open down the sideline, Kittle's wide open down the middle. They do a fake here and a fake here, and Debo Samuel, nobody's in the screen. That They made sure they didn't do that. They were going to stop the run, and then can Brock Purdy make big throws to beat our coverage? We're not going to let them have the ones where guys are getting hit on the run and they can run after the catch. And I thought that was a, a brilliant approach by the Packers. And I would think it's going to be somewhat similar to what we see the Lions do this weekend. Uh, the the and, 49ers are very, like, big play oriented, right, Mike? And that's why we love watching them. And you see, oh, no, when you make them drive or work a little bit, uh, it, it's certainly not the same offense or, or scary at quite the same capacity. Just enough to make you wonder what happens when the Lions go to town this weekend. Also, the 49ers might not have Debo Samuel. He mm. suffered an injury to the same shoulder that he injured in Cleveland back at the start of the three-game losing streak that the 49ers endured before they really turned it around up until Christmas night when the Ravens did to the 49ers what I thought the 49ers would do to the Ravens. Speaking of the Ravens, when we return, they were on the ropes for a little while until they punched the Texans through. We'll talk about the first game from Divisional Round Weekend when PFT Live continues right after this. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.